Hey, what's going on YouTube? It is the Mouse Lady here, and I'm doing a mid-year, I guess, setup tour. Uh, this video might be on the longer side because I have another part of my setup that I'm going to be showing you guys. And another thing I wanted to say is I noticed in my first setup tour video, well, I'm not really going to say noticed, but I just wanted to say that I'm not making this to flex on anybody. Uh, if anything, I want this to be motivating to show you that, like, with hard work, you can do it too. Um, I've gotten all this by myself. I've busted my ass to get everything that I have, and I just want to show you guys that you can do it too. So that's all I really wanted to say. This isn't to flex or anything like that. But uh, a lot of stuff is still the same, A lot of, and some stuff is different, so I'm not going to spend a ton of time naming each and every single thing in my setup like I did last time. Uh, but if I missed anything, just comment down below. So jumping head first into everything, I still keep a bunch of my mouse pads over here and some other stuff like I have my NK65, bungees, headphone boxes, more mouse pads. And then over here is my artisan mouse pads. And then this is my footrest. Cable management is still a disgrace and I really don't care. Uh, I'm still using the Govi Dream Color RGB strip as well. I did get a new boom arm. It is the Rode PSA1. I'm still using the HyperX Quadcast. And then for headphones, it's definitely a lot different. I kind of probably went a little overboard. So I did get another headset stand uh, so that I could have two DT770 Pros for closed back, uh, like a closed back headphone for if I'm gaming really late at night so the open backs don't wake up my roommate. And then I have the 990 Pros. Both are the 250 ohm version. Excuse me. I do main the 990 Pros. And then I also have some IEMs over here, which are the 10T2s. And I do have the Sound Blaster X G5 DAC amp uh, powering it or powering all of these. And then I also still have the Razer base station. Uh, it's actually worked out really well for me. I plug in my mice down here and then it's also a headset stand. Pretty cool. Still using the Glorious 3XL just to cover my desk. I do not use it to game. Uh, this is the Eve Cordura pad. Uh, that I just reviewed. I'm honestly too lazy to put it away. <laughs> That's why it's still on my desk. Uh, this is actually an aftermarket uh, cable. I can link it down below for my 10T2s. <clears throat> Excuse me, geez, my voice keeps bopping. And then these are just some Dakoni memory foam uh, earbuds. 10T2s are insane, like sound quality for the price. It's $50. And I like these better than my two studio monitor headphones. And these only cost 50 bucks. Um, so getting back into it, I still have the nano leaf triangles up here. I just have them off right now, of course. Still have the wall shelf with a un very unhealthy amount of mice on it. Uh, I have two monitors now, as you can see, instead of just the one. This is my Alienware 240 Hertz IPS panel, 1080p, 27 inch. And then this is my 27 inch, 1440p, 144 Hertz G-Sync monitor to Dell or <laughs> the brand is Dell and I'll put the model on screen now. I have it vertically mounted vertically obviously on a you know arm um, and then I just usually have a bunch of mice scattered so I tried to keep it neat for a long time and then I just kind of gave in to the chaos. Uh, it bothers me on a daily basis but I kind of just deal with it now. Uh, it is what it is. Uh, this is my favorite mouse in my collection right now. This is my first ever custom wireless mouse that I got commissioned by Cryomods. It is a wireless MM710 with G305 internals uh, with Japanese Omarons. Thing is super awesome. Core pad dots, love this thing. And then, like I said, a bunch of mice just hanging out everywhere. My super light, uh, tons of other mice. And then if we go back here, uh, this is where I keep my Mercury Edition Viper Ultimate. Sorry, it's so dusty back there. That's kind of gross. Uh, this is my Elgato Stream Deck. This thing is life-changing. And then this is my Nacho Customs uh, G Pro Wireless that he painted for me. So shout out to Nacho. I will also put his Twitter and all that down in the description. Uh, rewind real quick. I know this is going to make some of my keyboard enthusiasts 
uh, friends mad. Yes, I do own an Apex Pro TKL, and I actually really like it. Um, it's worked out really well for me, at least for now. Uh, the cable's non-detachable, so that's why I kind of still have it plugged up and not one of my customs right now, but <clears throat> I mean, it's a pretty cool keyboard. I just wish the cable was detachable for the price of this thing. And then this is my Shidinkai uh, Strawberry Milk. So it's mid XL. The rest of my artisan pads are over here, uh, minus like one or two of the boxes. Um, Pulsar Gaming X Lite Micro Bungie, Lunar Dial Regular Bungie, more mice, more mice, my gaming sleeve. And then this thing that my gaming sleeve is hanging out on is the Elgato Master Mount that I'm gonna be using in my videos and streams from now on. Uh, I got the large flex arm and the solid arm, but I'm still configuring it at the moment. This thing is actually really cool. Uh, I like it quite a bit. I'm still using the Logitech G560 speakers. They're just not, uh, you know, pouring RGB out on the wall at the moment. My specs are the exact same. Uh, if you didn't catch my last video, uh, I have a i7 10700K. Motherboard is a Z490E by Asus. I have 32 gigs of Corsair Vengeance RGB Pro memory, uh, 3200 megahertz cast latency 16. Uh, GTX 1070 Ti, uh, 850 watt Corsair power supply. The RGB cables are the Lee and Lee Shermer Pluses. Case is the Lee and Lee 011 Dynamic Razor Edition, and I did put custom mirror tint on it. Liquid cooler is the NZXT Z73, so it's 360 millimeters. And I'm trying to think if I missed anything. Uh, if I didn't say already, my desk and chair are the same exact thing as it was. So the Tempur-Pedic chair and then some random ass desk that I do not know the name of, but please don't get it. It's in three separate pieces and I have duct tape on it and I can feel the duct tape or the cracks if I don't have duct tape on it when I swipe my mouse. So if I missed anything, just let me know. Um, and before anybody, you know, says anything, I'm gonna be getting longer display port cables so that I can route them on this like I have everything else so that they aren't just hanging out like that. Trust me, it bothers me too, but that's, I'm just kind of dealing with it right now. Oh yeah, my Ducky 1-2 Mini with Speed Silvers and then my two fake plants. So that's really about it on my setup. I mean, like I said, a lot of stuff is still the same. So I'm gonna show you guys something else real quick. Give me one second. All right, guys, so this is the other part of my setup, and I'm actually going to be moving this, like my other setup, out here at some point so that I can have it next to this. So this is my 3D printing and soldering station, and this is my Creality 3 uh, Ender 3 3D printer, and I've already done some mods to it. Uh, I have a lot more coming. I print with just generic PLA, and uh, yeah. This thing is really cool. Uh, I should have got the Ender 3 V2, but I made a noob mistake and did not know that that existed. I'm gonna be modeling and 3D printing my own custom wireless mice at some point, but this is going to take a lot of time. So please, please, please be patient with me. So as a lot of you know, I recently started soldering. This table's kind of a clusterfuck right now, but I'll just kind of show you how I have everything right now and the gear that I have. So that little fan back there, that is my fume extractor. This is my helping hands that I clip PCBs to uh, while I'm soldering so it doesn't slip. This is my desoldering uh, pump. This is the Engineer, oh, I still had some solder in it. This is the Engineer SSO2, and I highly, highly, highly recommend you get one of these if you start soldering. This thing is amazing. This is my soldering iron itself. It's just some cheap, like, $15 one that I got off AliExpress, but for the price, this thing is pretty cool. It even has an LCD adjuster and it comes with like a bunch of different tips and stuff. And then this is my solder wire. Uh, this is what I use if you're interested. It would help if I put it right side up. This is what I use if anyone is interested. It's the same solder wire that ENS uses. I do use tip tinner as well. And then this is some flux paste in case I ever need it. 
This is my new uh, solder, solder iron holder. And then this is my iron wool that I used to clean my, you know, iron tip on so that I don't, uh, so the tip doesn't get oxidized. And then I really just have a bunch of other, you know, tool stuff uh, that I'm going to need. So a bunch of PCBs that I've practiced soldering on, um, tape measure, shit helping hands that nobody should ever fucking buy. These things suck. Uh, my computer screwdriver, G203 shells, hot ES shells, tweezers, a spudger, hot glue gun, tons of tools, my Dremel kit down here. Uh, gonna be using these to cut my, P uh, practice some PCB trimming. My magnetic screw tray holder, just tons of stuff. So I kind of just wanted to, like those of you who have, you know, supported me from the beginning, um, I am going to be trying to start doing some things to, you know, make things more accessible for the community. So once I master soldering, I do want to start doing switch swaps for people uh, in case they want to, you know, have different switches in their mice. I'm going to be offering keyboard soldering, uh, lubing and filming services as well for keyboards. Uh, and eventually, once I get the hang of it, I will be doing custom 3D printed uh, wireless mice and I will be selling my files. However, for now, I will be selling custom hand cut core pad dots by me on Etsy. Um, I'll update the comment or a comment down below once I make the page. But guys, this is pretty much the setup for now. My second setup area. A lot of people have asked me questions like about how my area looks and I kind of just wanted to show you guys, you know, what I have. Oh, real quick. This blue thing is just a rubber silicone mat that I keep my iron on. So yeah. All right, guys. So that is going to conclude the video. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. If I missed anything, just let me know. And with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.